Ready to fix me? Take it. SNL is the highest mountain I have ever had to climb, but it is so much fun climbing. Chris, we're in the center of this. All right, here we go. Stand by, folks. I'm Don Roy King. I'm the director of Saturday Night Live. Take one. I have an 18-year-old daughter who keeps me young and relatively hip. It's like a really cool thing that he does, and it's really interesting that the thing that he does is cool in my demographic and my age. Just by definition, I'm more exposed to things I wouldn't be otherwise, and that forces me to stay in touch. Good evening, I'm Seth Myers, and here are tonight's top stories. We get our news the same way. And I think that it's really nice that he is up to date in that way, and we can talk about weird pop culture, modern stuff. Yes, 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 yes. And we bring in music acts who are top and latest hit makers who I normally would have lost touch with a long time ago. But you still have a little bit of like culture shock sometimes. Like, um, Two Chains was a musical guest one time, and he came home um, from the first day that he met Two Chains and was surprised that there was only one person. He was like, Where is the other chain? So the secret is. And like, he doesn't even get starstruck that way, you know? He's just like, Oh, there's this, my buddy now, you know, I worked with this guy, and that's just the situation. And sometimes he'd be like, but Do you know who that is? Like, do you understand how like amazed you should be? It is so much fun to be here. And I've developed a much broader, eclectic interest in music. Guys, I want to move this chair a little bit. I think that a lot of what he does requires different styles of directing and knowledge of a lot of things. For 21 years, I directed morning television at Good Morning America and then CBS This Morning. I was in my mid-50s, and I thought, I've got to change this lifestyle. CBS agreed, and I moved on. But as I stepped out the door, I thought, now what? I still have skills to offer, I still have bills to be paid, and I still have a desire to find something challenging and definitive. And then I get an opportunity, kind of out of nowhere, to direct Saturday Night Live. It was sort of a left turn in my career and the need to learn a new skill set, to work with comedians, to stage sketch comedy. And there were moments when I thought, I really don't know what I'm doing here and I hate that feeling. And I haven't had those butterflies since I was 20. I thought, ooh, I don't want to go through that again. I don't want to risk failure. But then I thought, yeah, there's also a chance that I'll come out on the other end of it where those butterflies turn into the flutter of excitement and pride and the exhilaration of success. I emerged with the most exciting job I could possibly imagine. And I'm so glad I took that risk. I have so much respect for my father and what he does and who he is. My daughter Cameron, whom I adore. And so when I'm that age, I hope to have the same attitude that he does, and that is, you know, to live life to the fullest and to not give up. If I had been given this show 20 years ago, I wouldn't have had the temperament. I would have been too defensive. Wait, who are you again? Wait, wait. <laughs> Saturday Night Live is the perfect show for me. Rule 31, take it. At the perfect time in my life. Applause. <laughs> nice job, folks. This crew is following me around. There's a little bit of a rumor that I might be the next Bachelor. Good luck. <laughs>